So this video is actually a follow-up to the original ham sandwich video I did where I hit it 20 times in a row during live training. Then we had the one minute jujitsu hack on it. But you guys have been asking a ton of questions. So I wanna show you the second most important thing that you have to know about the ham sandwich. So as you already learned from the previous video, the ham sandwich is best utilized as a counter to when people try to grab your head in the anaconda or in the guillotine like this. She's reaching over the top. If I have a butterfly hook, she's gonna feel like that's not the most comfortable thing to do, so back out. This is what I do. It's kind of scary. You're definitely gonna get choked like this a lot when you're first learning this, but I'll play in here or I'll be framing and I'll stick my head in here so that it feels like the right thing to do even though I have this butterfly hook in her way with a high knee. It feels like the right thing to do is grab my head. As she does that, look, I got a free underhook on this side. I've got a free underhook on this side and my foot is ready to go to drag myself underneath her. The best thing to do to counter the guillotine is what? Is to get to your back. But if I go, think about go to my back, I pull her with me and she's able to have the momentum and the advantage now. So I want to do two things. I wanna move myself underneath with my bottom foot and flatten my back as I make my play. And now her hips are gonna be light. I want her over here. If there's weight in this leg, then it doesn't make any sense to try to lift it. Like be heavy there. It doesn't make any sense to try to lift it right here. So I need to keep all the weight bumped up this way. See, I stay curled up into a ball once I'm here. And now the lightness of this hip makes it easy for me to get the ham sandwich. So if the leg was bent, it makes it easy for me to get the ham sandwich. But after she's been hit with that a couple of times, she's gonna be hit to that. She's not gonna let you do it for free. And she leaves her leg straight right here, you see that? Can't bring her in, can't bend her leg for the ham sandwich. So this one then goes underneath and I catch ankle to ankle. And now I'm gonna make a quick switch as I flare my knee out. And now I have the electric chair. I'm deep in an electric chair too. My I'm so deep in fact that my next movement is to bump and turn the other way as I stretch this arm out. When I take her over for the electric chair, you notice she doesn't just fall down. She stays in a push-up position or she drops to maybe her back elbow right here. If her hand is light here, maybe she could even hammer fist me or hit me in the face from here. So I gotta be aware of that kind of stuff. The easiest thing to do in the electric chair, if you could just get your arm up into this position, like you're screwing in a light bulb right here. Shout out to Elio Soneca, screw the light bulb then it's gonna be really hard for them to do anything. It's gonna be really easy for you to get up on your elbow, complete the sweep and the pass, hopefully. If you wanna see how I deal with the most obvious and easy counter to the ham sandwich, you need to click here.